Now, course announcements allow you to communicate time-sensitive information with your students. So they could be anything like how to get to a module, providing uh, the link to the readings, introducing a new speaker, reminding students that something is due, a certain assignment or a quiz. And you can even add your video of yourself into your announcement. And Canvas even allows you to include blog posts from a different blog into your announcement. And you can filter just a particular topic into your announcements. You would only get relevant posts to the class inside of your announcement. And as discussed earlier, announcements can be sent to the student based on what preferences they've set under notification settings. So you could get announcement through email, but the student might have said uh, they wanted to get the announcements through Facebook or through a text message or their LinkedIn account or their Twitter account. There's many options for them to choose from to in order to get your announcements in time. Your course homepage will have a new announcement button here on the right sidebar. But you can also go to the announcements page by clicking on announcements here on the left navigation. And then you'll see the existing announcements based on the newest announcement that is on the top and the older announcements at the bottom. You can then search for announcements that have already been made by typing in a title or a subject. And then you can filter all the unread announcements so that you would only see results come up that haven't been read yet. So let's go ahead and try creating an announcement. And so you can create an announcement title. And then using the rich content editor, you can add any kind of content into this announcement. You can apply then the formatting and you can insert rich content into it. And please see the earlier video lecture on how to use the rich content editor. Then on the right you see the content selector sidebar. And from here you can basically add anything into this announcement. So like for example, if you created a page called the contact page, simply click on contact and now there's a link within your announcement to that page. You don't have to go dig up that uh, link. Then if you wanted to create a link to uh, the next assignment, click on that menu and it pops out with all the assignments. So you can pop in the assignment for week one. And there it is. You don't have to go find the assignment. It's right there. You can then add files or images. And I do want to mention that students are not able to create announcements for a course. And that's pretty typical in learning management systems. Students can create announcements in their group. But they would have to be assigned to a certain group. And then they can have their own group announcements. So these announcements are only accessible by you, the teacher. You can add a file to the announcement. So you can browse and find a file on your hard drive or your file share. And you would then pick just pick the file and click Open, and the file would be attached. You can also delay the posting of the announcement by clicking this checkbox here. And then using the icon here for the calendar, you can then set a specific date and a specific time before the announcement will be released to the students. In Canvas, announcements are allowed to be replied to by students. But if you wanted the students to first reply to the announcement themselves before seeing other replies, you could check this box. You can even send the announcements as a podcast. So you've created an announcement. And then you click Save. And you'll now be able to see your latest announcement at the top of the list here, unless you made the announcement unavailable until a certain date. You can also see the paperclip, which implies that a file has been attached to the announcement, and the date and time that the announcement was made. Now, if you wanted to go back and edit the announcement, simply click on it, and then click on the Edit button. If you wanted to delete the announcement, click on the gear icon and then say delete. And click OK and now your announcement gets deleted. You can also make bulk changes to announcements by selecting the announcements in the announcement list 
and then for example delete them all at once by clicking the delete button or you can lock all the announcements for comments so that students can't make comments on these announcements anymore. Now, some people like to read the announcements in using their favorite RSS reader and RSS stands for Real Simple Syndication. This could be anything from the built-in Firefox RSS reader to a Google reader to your Outlook RSS reader or anything that can accept an RSS feed. And this just means that somebody can read the announcements in a different reader outside of Canvas. And the way to do that would be to click on the RSS feed icon. And then if you're in Firefox, you simply click subscribe now. Each feed reader has a slightly different method for adding a new feed. It basically involves grabbing this link right here and pasting that into your feed reader after you've clicked on add new feed. And it might be a slightly different procedure for each different reader. And once you've subscribed to that, you will get announcements automatically to your reader. One thing Canvas does is you can actually allow an external feed into your Canvas course announcement. And what you do then is click on Add External Feed. You then paste in the link to the external blog or whichever feed uh, that you want to add. And then under Content to Post, you can select whether you want to import the full article, a truncated, so just a selection of it with a link to more, read more, or just the link. So you can try that out and see which one works best for your announcement. And to get even more specific, you can click on this check mark checkbox that says only add posts with a specific phrase in the title. So if you've, your course is about history and you know a blog that talks a lot about history but also talks about sociology, then you would simply type in the word history as the phrase to look for. And that way you would only get posts from with that particular subject. So then you would click Add Feed, and now you would be getting posts with that particular topic. So just as an example, I've pulled up a page on Huffington Post in the technology section. And this would be with most websites. What you would look for is this little icon, the RSS feed icon, in the page that you're interested in getting more updates about. And so you click on that, and then you would click on whatever subject you're interested in and then it should give you this XML feed link right here and you would just copy that and then once you have that link that feed URL you paste that in and then when you click on that link you should see something like this where you get all the subject lines and then a link to the, ar the full article as you can see, here's what it looks like once you have pulled an RSS feed that's from an external website into your Canvas announcements. So you have this list of article titles that are being pulled in from a different site, in this case Huffington Post, the technical section. But it can be from any website or any blog that has an RSS feed.